Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So I'm going to go with you guys on ATER. We had a run last week with ATER. We had a nice continuation. So I'm going to go over exactly which indicators will give us confirmation on a strong continuation here. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates every single day that I mentioned throughout the week. Again, if you are a day trader or you're just tired of looking at the market all throughout the day and you rather have somebody to do it for you, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a breakout like today again. So let's jump into this one. Now, looking at the daily chart with you guys here on ATER, as you guys can see, we have our 20 to moving average that we were looking to see if we can cross above our 50 width. And as you guys can see, we are just crossing above, looking to see if we can continue. So it does show us that we still can continue. But again, we do need that confirmation on the five minute chart to break above our highs that we had from last week. As you guys can see, we had a high last week at 664. We were testing that level right before going to extended hours today. So we are going to be looking to see if we can continue on past 664. Again, this is very much a pre-market watcher to see if we are going to continue going to tomorrow to see if we can hold over 664 and as you guys can see here on the macd again we did get that increase in buy pressures today as we did have a continuation on up however we do have our previous buy pressure point that we did have when we did break up to 664 so we do need to break above this previous buy pressure point to get strong momentum to the upside now if we do get that increase in buy pressure we are going to be looking at the daily chart for that key level that we are going to be running into in my opinion if we do continue on up as you guys can see we do have a previous consolidation level that we had exactly at 8 30 as you guys can see we had a previous rejection to the upside we we had consolidation. We could not hold this level and we did have an overreaction to the downside. So again, 830 would be that next level that we are trying to break above if we do break over 664 with that increase in buy pressure again on the MACD on the five minute chart. And as you guys can see overall on the daily chart, we do have our email lines above our MACD showing us that we still could continue. Again, we are pointing up that does show us that we could have strong momentum to the upside if we do continue on with that buy pressure again on the five minute chart. One of the very few stocks that has been holding up after hours. So again, I definitely would keep ATER on the watch. With that said, if you guys are day traders or you want to see exactly when ATER may just break out, we will mention this in the Instables room. If we do see confirmation, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout like today again. And all of you Instables that have been coming over every single day and supporting the channel, I appreciate it when you guys, we will continue to go at it. Stay strong, stay consistent. Let the plays come to us as always. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all and I'll see you guys in pre-market.